I'm not ashamed to own my Lord, nor to defend His cause. Maintain the honors of His word, the glory of His cross. Hello, I'm James Brown, and on behalf of the East End Church of Christ located in Toronto, Canada, I'd like to welcome you to today's edition of Walking Through the Bible, a podcast where we seek to study the Bible and the Bible alone. Please stick around afterwards for information on how you can contact us. But for now, please go to the book of Genesis and we'll turn you over to Jeremy Diesel for our study of the day. Thank you, James, and welcome to all of our viewers. This is the 155th lesson in our study of Genesis. Yesterday, we covered Genesis chapter 45, verses 9 to 15, discussing how Joseph requested that the brothers and the rest of the family move to Egypt. If you missed that episode and would like to watch it, you can find it and all of our other podcasts on our website at www.eastendchurch.org. You can also find them on our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash Christ under the Walking Through the Bible Genesis playlist. Today we're going to begin with Genesis chapter 45, 16 and read through verse 28. The text that you'll see on the screen is from the English Standard Version, but you're welcome to follow along with any version that you have. So let's now read Genesis 45, beginning at verse 16. When the report was heard in Pharaoh's house, Joseph's brothers have come, it pleased Pharaoh and his servants. And Pharaoh said to Joseph, Say to your brothers, Do this, load your beasts and go back to the land of Canaan, and take your father and your households and come to me, and I will give you the best of the land of Egypt, and you shall eat the fat of the land. And you, Joseph, are commanded to say, Do this, take your wagons from the land of Egypt for your little ones and for your wives, and bring your father and come. Have no concern for your goods, for the best of all the land of Egypt is yours. The sons of Israel did so, and Joseph gave them wagons according to the command of Pharaoh, and gave them provisions for the journey. To each and all of them he gave changes of clothes, but to Benjamin he gave 300 shekels of silver and five changes of clothes. To his father he sent as follows 10 donkeys loaded with the good things of Egypt and 10 female donkeys loaded with grain, bread, and provision for his father on the journey. Then he sent his brothers away, and as they departed he said to them, Do not quarrel on the way. So they went up out of Egypt and came to the land of Canaan to their father Jacob. And they told him, Joseph is still alive, and he is ruler over all the land of Egypt. And his heart became numb, for he did not believe them. But when they told him all the words of Joseph, which he had said to them, and when he saw the wagons that Joseph had sent to carry him, the spirit of their father Jacob revived. And Israel said, It is enough. Joseph, my son, is still alive. I will go and see him before I die. In this chapter, we have had Joseph revealing himself to his brothers. They, of course, were shocked to know that he was still alive and most likely feared retribution. He told them not to fear, for God had used him as a way to preserve all of their lives from the famine, which still had five years to go. In yesterday's episode, we have Joseph requesting that the brothers go tell Jacob that he is still alive and to bring the entire family to Egypt in order that they can be saved from the famine. In today's reading, we have the report of Joseph's brothers being in Egypt coming to Pharaoh. Now, we don't know what Joseph had told Pharaoh about his family, if he told him anything. But the fact that they were in Egypt pleased Pharaoh. Now, Joseph had instructed his brothers to return and bring their father down to Egypt. This would be a large move, as Jacob was very wealthy as well as very old, so such a move would not be easy. Pharaoh wanted to make this move easier. He told them to take wagons in order to transport all the wives and little ones, as well as Jacob himself. Pharaoh also told them that they had no need to worry about their possessions, for they would be given all the best that Egypt had to offer. Now that didn't mean that they would simply abandon everything, but that they had no need to worry about bringing absolutely everything. Joseph did as Pharaoh commanded, and then gave each brother a change of clothing, but to Benjamin, the youngest, Joseph gave five changes of clothing as well as 300 shekels of silver. For his father, Joseph sent ten donkeys loaded with grain, bread, and provisions for his father's journey. He then told the brothers to hurry and not to quarrel along the way, for that would slow them down, showing us that Joseph wanted to see his father as soon as possible. The conversation that the brothers have with their father was certain to be uncomfortable. 
They tell Jacob that not only is Joseph alive, but he is ruler over Egypt. Jacob, for obvious reasons, doesn't believe them. But after hearing about Joseph's words and seeing all the wagons, Jacob's spirit revived and he was convinced. He now wanted to see Joseph before he died. With that, our time is up for today. Please join us, the Lord willing, tomorrow for our question and answer edition as well as the weekly sermon edition of this podcast. This week's question is, what does it mean that Jesus went to hell? Well, the sermon will be titled, Saved from What? We will continue our study of Genesis, the Lord willing, on Monday, beginning with Genesis 46, verse 1. Thank you, Jeremy. And to our viewers, we also thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button below. Should you have any questions or comments, please leave them below or email them to answeringtheword at gmail.com. We'll try to respond to you as quickly as we can. We hope you'll join us, Lord willing, tomorrow for our weekly question and answer edition, as well as the weekly sermon edition of this podcast. Goodbye for now and have a great day. I'm not ashamed to own my Lord, nor to